Hey, hello, Sandy and Michael. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV with very questionable eyewear. How are you? Thanks for coming in today and uh, taking all that heat with me. It is hot. That's why we're going to Montana slash Colorado slash Banff. Let's go. This is the one we landed on, you guys. This is the one, uh, Sandy, you like the best for sure. Kind of checked all of the boxes. We'll match your truck perfectly. It's the Jayco Eagle Series 28.5. And you'll have a full fiberglass front cap here, three slide outs. Again, we have the RV park here that will allow us to show you how everything works live and in person, everything hooked up, AC blowing cold, hot water heater, which is, as you noticed is the tankless constant hot water heater on this one ladder to the roof, fully laddable, uh, fully walkable roof up there. You'll have a uh, hitch here. You can put some firewood tray or a generator tray or what have you on. Has the outside kitchen that we loved. This J port is gonna hold this over here, your griddle. So your griddle will be under your bed, I bet. But here's your J port tray. It'll slide into there for you. You'll have a power washing port here to spray things off. You'll have a great big awning as soon as you come out of your stairs there. And then here's the rest of the outside kitchen with TV connection, mini refrigerator, lots of storage, all composite, not wood, so it's ready for the outdoors. And of course, the all important beer opener, bottle opener, to me, beer opener. Um, let's look inside. We love the new solid steps. That's these right here. Jayco's really good about giving you the great big grab handle. This is the interior that you loved, Sandy. Big window in the back, all blackout shades. Island kitchen, which will have 110 plugs for it, so that'll be useful connection. 110 and USB here by your microwave, which is a 30 inch. Convection, it looks like it's got a metal thing in there, so I bet that's a convection microwave. Three burner range and an oven with a little night light. And this one will have the fireplace, which can be used just as ambiance currently or, and you can change the color of that flame to blue, red, pink, whatever you want. Or you can set it to heat this whole unit. The TV, as we can see, is exactly where you guys wanted it, straight across from your recliners. Your recliners have these tables that will pop right out when you don't need them, but neat little TV trays when you do need them. Remote for the TV, remote for the radio, remote for the fireplace. JBL stereo system. We looked at how that couch makes into a bed, uh, Sandy, so we know that's easy. Right here by your recliners, you've got USB and light switches. And again, the blackout shades. The ubiquitous clock above the door there, Jayco does. This one has the quiet, cool AC in the living room here. That's why you see these return vents instead of the AC in the living room. That's going to make it a lot quieter for you. And then the second AC in the bedroom is the standard AC. Two ACs in this is more than enough, probably overkill, but on a day like today, you can't have too much AC, I don't think. Nice big pantry here. This is actually a little chalkboard thing. It comes with a pen. You can write notes on here, but a nice big pantry for us and even storage above that, solid wood cabinetry. Really well done by Jayco. Let's go upstairs. The bathroom features a porcelain toilet, not plastic. And I like, it's just me, I think, hopefully you do too. I feel like you did because you saw it. But I like the blue cabinets in the bathroom. That's just me. Big corner shower. Lights. I like that this uh, mirror has a little accent light behind it. That's pretty sharp. And you have access to your bathroom either from your bedroom or through your hallway, both. 
Slide out here gives you your closet space, otherwise you wouldn't have. King bed, we loved that. There's your second AC. The basement AC is ducted through here though too, so you may never have to turn that on, who knows. You'll have storage under your bed. Again, that's probably where your, yep, that's where your uh, griddle is. So storage there. And then your TV mount right at the foot of the bed would be here. And then here's your door to the hallway. So, boom chakalaka, there we go. The 28.5, I think we hit a home run. You guys sleep on it. I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to do a practice camping run on my motorcycle. Uh, Sunday, Monday, and part of Tuesday. So... You can still call me. I'll have cell service. I'm just going to a little local park for, like I say, a test run before the big Colorado trip. Um, so you can still call me, put 100 bucks on this so that uh, it doesn't go away. And we can arrange any type of financing you want or however you want to go ahead and do the numbers. That's easy peasy. So you've got my number. It's the 406 number. Montana, don't be scared. I'm right here in Buda, Texas. You know that. 406 696-4750, 406-696-4750, 32.3 feet long, this is kind of ideal, it's right where you want to be. Let's go camping.